It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? We need the cooler out here, Chris. I think anything is better than catching bluefish on poppers. Or losing them. Were they this size yesterday too? Or bigger too? So it was a mix of small and big. Yeah. That's why you fish single hooks on a popper and not trebs right here. Easy hook removal. Bleed them. It's gonna be a slimy day. There they are. The typical size Florida bluefish. See, let the plug float out the inlet on the outgoing tide. Let's see what happens. So what I'm gonna try to do now is let my plug float way out there because nobody's getting hit close in anymore. Look out, there's three blues, that's it. Chris got a little cold, went in the truck to get his grunnings. Oh, I was just letting it sit there in the current. I literally just let my plug sit out there. Oh, it was just not your day, Chris. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I'll get you another one. I can't believe someone said that. Real life, I was out here one day, I was trying to fish right there, someone told me that's my rock. Told me I couldn't fish there. Hashtag locals only. Whoa, he's getting chased. He's shot. I think he just got chased. Maybe. You ready? There you go. No! Get him! Is he gone? It's the real monster hole. Oh, oh. Yes, this is a swimmer. <laughs> I'm getting ready to put the auto on. Real close, right in. Right? Change, right? Hold on, I got, I got. You got it. Teamwork. Dude, he dream almost work. just snapped at me. There we go. Right there. What's he doing? No, I said, what is he doing? Way out there. Very, very far out there. Jack. Chris, you want to swim with Jack? You want it? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. No Good problem. Job. Here, I'm gonna just slide it under, right? Yeah, no uh -huh. There we go. Here anyway. 
Yeah. Yeah. The better one? Yeah. The neater. Ah, uh, you want to hold this for me? Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Barely hooked in the lip right there. Came out that easy. What I'm doing is letting my plug float way out the inlet again. Seems like that's the only way we've been getting hit. Oh yeah, work. Stay on, stay on, stay on. That would be a lot of reeling for him to not stay on. Yeah, you were out there. Yeah. So far we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten exactly. So Chris and I just got back to the house. We got a bunch of these good eating size ones right here. So I'm going to go ahead, fillet this bluefish up for you guys, and then we're going to get in the kitchen and do an awesome recipe. That's why I like filling small fish because you could just run your knife right up alongside them and bluefish are mushy so you can just go and get one clean swipe and not miss too much meat. Same thing goes with mackerel and uh, a bunch of other fish. When fish are small like that you don't have to do the whole run your knife along the backbone on both sides. Swipe it down and you get yourself a nice little fillet right there. And a lot of people turn their nose away from bluefish including my cameraman right behind you. Absolutely. But it's really good. You just have to know how to prepare it and you definitely got to eat it fresh. It is definitely an oilier, fishier fish. Um, but you got to treat it like that. You can't treat it like sushi grade fish. You know, that's what a lot of people try to do. They try to free freeze fish such as bluefish, mackerel, and all sorts of stuff. And that's when they end up with that really fishy, foul tasting smell and fish, which it's no bueno. Nobody wants to eat that. So there we go. I noticed you had a slit on the throat. What's up with that? We did. So when you guys deal with oilier fish or you know you're going to be dealing with fishier fish, what I like to do and what I recommend is definitely you um, either pop their gills or you put a slice in their throat. And if you guys notice, I did a lot of that in the video and it removes a lot of the blood. And as you guys see, the fillets are very uh, they're not bloody and bluefish have a really big bloodline usually so that's that line that runs laterally along them and when you bleed them you tend to get a nicer fillet firmer fillets less fishy fillets your fillets just come out a lot better than when you don't bleed them and that goes with all fish this is what I'm talking about their bloodline this is why a lot of people don't like bluefish because if you guys look right here all of this this red stuff right here when you freeze this when you eat this fresh you can hardly taste it, but when you freeze this, it gets very fishy, very just foul tasting. It does not taste good. So that's why it's best to eat this type of fish fresh or you smoke it. I think everybody wants to see you try bluefish you see me. It's gonna be a big piece, not a little piece. Come here. Can't stage this. It's good. Get out of here. It's good. I'm not doing it. Chef Vic coming back at you guys with another voiceover. Now, the first things for our recipe are going to be some ginger and garlic. You guys can see I am a huge fan of ginger. I'm a huge fan of garlic. They're fragrant. They're very good uh, herbs to have in your kitchen, and I like them. So we're cutting up some ginger as well as some garlic. You guys always see me using my videos, and uh, I'm going to be putting these into a big stainless steel bowl. I'm making kind of a a big broth like sauce. I'm gonna be baking the bluefish and you guys are about to see. We're putting it all that into our mixing bowl. I take my garlic press, squishing up my garlic real fine. Um, just fresh herbs, real fragrant. And we are about to add some mirin, I believe. Now mirin is something I have been using a lot in my cooking and I've done some, you know, I've done my research. It's used a lot in Japanese cooking. And when you cook out the, uh, I think it's the alcohol in the mirin. You get this just sweet, syrupy texture. It's just a really nice flavor in your sauces. I added some soy sauce as well. Get some salinity in the sauce going. And soy sauce, you can't go wrong. Uh, add a little heat, put some crushed red pepper in there. Love, love crushed red pepper, as well as some sweet chili sauce. This stuff is not too spicy, and it's a nice, uh, thick, kind of like a honey-like substance. Love putting it in my cooking. Got some scallions being chopped up into nice little slices. We're gonna be adding that into our mixture and that is what I'm doing. I'm mixing all of this stuff up. We got the green. Now we're gonna add some nice, beautiful red bell peppers. Um, love cooking with red bell peppers, especially baking them. They release a ton of juice and they are just delicious. And we also, I had a yellow bell pepper as well in the 
in my fridge, got that going. Now I just went ahead and did a quick little mix of all this stuff and you guys are about to see we are going to lay our bluefish out in this, uh, I guess this glass bacon dish, I guess you would say. Uh, you see how I cut the bluefish, those are just the sides, putting it all into here and I'm going to bake it all at once and you guys see that the bluefish Depending on you know which fish, they do have a little bit of different color. Some of them are more pink, some of them a little bit more dark. But you guys, you guys see most of that bloodline. I did take out because my grandma, she's freaked out about it, so I did take it out. And now I'm laying all my peppers, my scallions, and that just beautiful broth out over the fish. Just mix it up all together. There's no oil in this recipe now that I come to think of it. So it's actually a very healthy recipe as well if you guys are interested in that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some tin foil over this. I put it at 350 or 375 it was and I believe I baked it for about 20 minutes. And uh, as this is going I actually have some uh, oriental style noodles boiling and I got some scallion for garnish as well as some cilantro. I love topping cilantro on top of my rice or uh, noodles or soups or broths. It gives it a good flavor and it's just really nice to have sitting on your plate. So we got that going in our little glass bowl as well as some freshly shaved carrots. Give it a nice little crunch and also that orange, uh, just that orange color on your plate, you know? So we got the cilantro, we got some scallion and we got some carrot all going into our dish. And you know, you could put this on top of the fish, you could put this on top of your rice, but in my case, I'm gonna be putting it on top of my noodles. And you guys see, I'm really trying to step up the game with the garnishes and the colors and everything and plating. And uh, yeah, so here we are. Here is what the fish looks like. You guys see how much juice. You wanna talk about, you know, not drying out your fish. Baking is probably the way to go. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this guy up. Uh, these are just some oriental style rice noodles that I had. Uh, some leftover from a separate recipe. We got our fish plated. Now we go ahead and put some little carrot garnish on there, our scallions on top of our noodles, and then my favorite was the cilantro. I like to sprinkle a little bit of cilantro on top of those rice noodles and it just really gives it a nice kick. Hope you guys enjoy that voiceover. You guys know what time it is, so what did you think of that? Very good. I don't even feel like I ate fish. You cannot even feel the taste the fish. The sauce that Victor made, very delicious. Sarka, how about you? I love it. It's good, it's excellent, it's no smell fishy, and uh, gravy is very good. Everything is excellent. Good. I thought it was really good. It was funny because Victor didn't think his grandma was going to like it because he thought it was going to be fishy, and it wasn't fishy at all. And bluefish is one of those fish that a lot of people don't, like they think are trash fish because they're kind of darker and they kind of taste fishy sometimes, but as long as you cook it good, which Victor did, it didn't taste fishy at all and it was really good. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and if you would do me and Brooke a huge favor, you guys see those two circles on the screen, please make sure to hit the subscribe button to both of us. We both do catch and cooks and I'll be seeing all you guys, my land sharks, in that next video. There we go. There's one little guy right there. And we There's got literally a garbage dumpster right there for you.